hands down the most useful aspect of a citation manager is using it to interface with the document that you're writing. It can insert your citations, automatically number them, change the format of your bibliography, and be a useful tool to help you draw in your material. Otherwise, it's just a big file cabinet. So I'm going to come over into Microsoft Word, and um, you'll note now that I've installed EndNote on my computer, EndNote 18 is showing up, X8 here, is showing up uh, as a separate toolbar in my document. Um, important thing to note, this does not work as far as I know with OpenOffice. I'm not sure about Microsoft Pages. For our students, Microsoft Word is available for free through the university, so uh, save yourself a little trouble if you're going to try and use this. So here I have my outline for my proposal for my systematic review, and I'm not a big fan of all the whole numbering system, but I do, I tend to use colors and highlighting. But I've pulled in a bunch of information that will be background information to state the rationale for this project. And I've gone ahead and inserted a couple of citations here just to illustrate a point. So for health coaching, since I already had some citations, I've pulled in a couple of different numbered references. So I have five references here. And if I scroll down, this might make you dizzy. I'm going to do this very quickly. But I've got a lot to fill in in my document. But you'll see I've already got a reference list. And if I click in my reference list, it immediately is grayed out. And that shows me that the information has been inserted with a citation manager. So I'll scroll back on up to a section where I need to insert some information about who's at risk for hypertension, so epidemiology of hypertension. And I have a sentence here that says, hypertension affects nearly one third of US adults. So if I come back over into my EndNote library, one of the references that I pulled the full text for, we'll scroll on down here towards the bottom, was a, um, a study that was from 2011 to 2014. So if I select my reference and I open my PDF, I can see that there are some statistics in here. This is a very good citation to just cite incidents and prevalence. So the key findings are summarized up here on the beginning of the study, and that's fine for what I need to do right now in terms of a quality reference. So let me X out of this. And I've got the citation highlighted in my main library here. I want to make sure that it's highlighted and then go into my document and come to the end of my sentence where I make my claim that requires a citation. And so with my cursor selected here or, or positioned here, I'm going to open up EndNote on my toolbar and then select Insert Selected Citation. So this links the citation into my library and brings it in now formatted as Reference 1. If I scroll down in my document, you'll see now that this other section has 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the automatic numbering is probably one of the biggest lifesavers for using a citation manager when you're citing. Um, and when I scroll down to my bibliography, the reference is front and center where it needs to be. So that's the first really useful thing about your citations. The second is that you can change the citation style to or change your bibliography style to something different. So I'll come up here and I have NLM style selected and there are lots of other potential styles. You can even add styles. But I'll go ahead. I want to make sure that um, I can keep track of my articles. For me, I keep track um, either by first author last name or by creating some kind of other color-coded system when I'm, when I'm writing. Um, but for now, I'll select author date because that will uh, just give us um, a different way to um, reimagine our bibliography. So if I select author date, then the citations and bibliography are automatically updated, and I can see where I'm pulling in articles here, 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 and here. So then I scroll down to my bibliography, and the references are now in a different order and in a different format. So when I'm in my reference list here, it's a little messy to read. And if I wanted to outdent my citations, I can give a hanging indent here that will help me sort through these. And then it's fairly easy to see that the reference list is now organized alphabetically. So 
as you go through the synthesized aspect of your literature review, using author date as a temporary way to make sure that you're citing all your articles is a good way to help keep yourself on track. And then you can come back and change your citation back to uh, whatever your preferred style is. So just for yucks, let's go ahead and choose JAMA style. And this gives us superscript in our document here. So all of this happens tremendously easily with a program like this. Um, th otherwise, this is probably the busiest part of um, academic writing for anybody. So hopefully this was useful. We'll move on to a couple tips and tricks in just a moment.